Hello. Good morning, everyone. Sí, te confirmo que te escuchamos bien. Obrigado. Yes, we can hear you well. Bom, uh, bom dia a todos, né? Eu sou... Good morning, everyone. Gustavo. Oh, I'm Luis Gustavo Barros of the uh, State University of uh, Ponta Grossa, and I'm going to talk about the black hole strategies with RPKI on Internet Exchange. Well, about our IXP called IXP machines. It's a, a regional uh, traffic exchange that is maintained and operated by our university, and its characteristic is that's not commercial. And uh, we participate in the Manners uh, Initiative in the IXP program. As to the strategies of Black Hole with uh, RPKI, as an IXP operator, we are currently evaluating a few strategies to deploy black hole in our IXPs with RPKI that inserts some new variables. We have today, we've uh, conducted some research, we identified four strategies that are being considered to accept uh, those uh, prefixes uh, that uh, the participants announce. Uh, and we can accept what do we do. Uh, so there we see how to treat those prefixes of uh, IXP our exchange points. So, the four strategies, let's see the first of those four strategies. The first would be a uh, strict validation of our PKI. That is, you need to consider, even for a black hole, you have to validate all the routes and you see the the origin and the maximum length of the prefixes announced. For instance, here you have a as uh, the autonomous system 64501 2001 DB8 slash 32 with a maximum length of 48. So this would be the uh, standard. And then with the black hole, a uh, route um, validator would validate, we would have to create several routes with uh, uh, slash 49, maximum length 128 for IPv6. Uh, so obviously this is a uh, scale that's good for IPv4 and uh, for IPv6. And there are also some uh, undesired, uh, unwanted uh, um, advertisements and you hear with this you can mitigate this and a practice that we recommend is always to put the maximum length in each protocol and if you don't do this when you announce an, an ROA during an attack you can uh, it may be difficult in practice uh, to, to stop this, it may not be viable. So the second strategy would be a validation, a flexible validation. So the part, this part of the row announcement, it announces the ROA as a whole. So there would be a strict validation for non-black hole prefixes. For black hole prefixes, you validate the origin, uh, the the origin ASN, but ignores the ROA maximum length. Here you have an example: AS six four five zero one two thousand and one DB eight slash thirty two. This is 
this and uh, with the maximum length of 48 only if this uh, prefix, the sub prefix is announced as a black hole, only then would it be validated by the root servers with its maximum length. So you need to have two RPKI validators. And then the second one, you have to modify using. Um, and the advantage is that the part of the one is a part of origin and the other is reliable information. But in a way, you are changing the ROR and some. Um, so that's why we use this methodology. Now, the third strategy would be to accept RPKI uh, prefixes, even if they are invalid, if they were marked as black holes. That is, you would have a strict uh, RPKI validation filtering only for non-black hole prefixes. And you, you would accept the prefixes with RPKI invalid if marked as black holes. And so these would be accepted, and probably you would have to use an IRR DB for, uh, to validate the origin, the source of the, the prefix of this black hole. And there are also some that use this methodology. And the fourth methodology that we looked for is the fourth is uh, not to use RPKI for blank soul prefixes and you need another reliable source to validate the prefixes very probably an IRDB and you can use the RDAP with that the uh, registry authorities offer and so but not all the um, um, uh, authorities give direct origin of uh, the prefixes. LACNIC does it, and NIC, and ARIN, but there are others that don't, that uh, they don't uh, do that. So, and uh, then, you um uh, so this that was the full strategy and then after accepting this prefix black hole starts applying that infrastructure for the ixp and the most common thing is uh, with a uh, the way you apply it is the common ways to change next hop on root servers and uh, this next hop is black holes on the peer traffic and when you do that the participants must accept larger prefixes or black holes over slash uh, 24 for ipv4 and more than slash 48 for IPv6, but and that's a problem because this may be applied only partially, so the participants may not have the routing specifically for the black hole prefixes. So you have to interact with the participants. So something that we used here that would be accept uh, the prefixes of the route servers using the strategy, using the two uh, uh, presenters and the, the, so the people can apply the, uh, um, uh, uh, the participant it involves hardware support and integration and uh, the participants do not have to take uh, any action so that can be applied in all the 
with all the hardware that people that people use and uh, then so well this uh, was uh, my presentation and uh, i'm ready to answer questions Luis, there are no questions. Would you like to make uh, any final comments? Well, RPKI with black hole is a topic that is debated a lot in the peering, especially for those that work with different um, the traffic points around the world. So this is a proposal that we have built reading many other sources and many uh, uh, trying to implement our um, regional IXP and with a smaller scale. So some things we can do them more easily because we are not so large. Uh, so, and we don't have so much traffic, we don't have so many participants, so maybe we can uh, make comments about some actions that are positive for uh, our small community. I think that this was all. Thank you.